Hello, this is Nancy and welcome to Hollywood Corner. In today's video, we'll look at the chances of death of Stranger Things characters in the second volume of season 4. These percentages might not be accurate or real, but it's just an estimation from my side according to what I've seen in the first volume of the show. All of Susie, Joyce, Argyle, and Erica are in the safe zone with a very low chance of death of 7%. These supporting characters are too kind to be killed in the show. All of Dustin, Will, Robin, and Mike have a very low death chance of 11%. I think they will be in the safe zone too, based on how much they serve to the heart of the show. The chance of Eleven dying in Volume 2 is 22%. The main protagonist of the series seems to have returned her powers and ending Vecna is her duty now. The chance of Hopper dying in Volume 2 is 31%. Stranger Things has brought Hopper back for Season 4. Our police chief has escaped from the prison in Kamchatka and survived the bloodthirsty Demogorgon. It's very unlikely to kill him after being saved. The chance of Nancy dying in Volume 2 is 45%. In the last episode of Season Season 4. Nancy found herself falling through a Vecna-induced abyss and ends up in a location that looks uncannily similar to the pool where Barb. Nancy has been overtaken by Vecna and things don't seem promising for her. Having said that, I believe Eddie will save her by playing her favorite song. The chance of Max dying in Volume 2 is 52%. Max could potentially die in Volume 2 because she is annoying to Vecna causing him a lot of trouble. So Vecna will be specifically targeting her from now on. However, considering the fact that her brother was killed off in Season 3, it wouldn't make sense to cut her that soon especially after being saved already. The chance of Murray dying in Volume 2 is 55%. I think that Murray's role might have served its purpose by helping Joyce reunite with Hopper and he might die from an explosion. When they try to get back to Hawkins, do you think they'll escape the Russians that easy? The chance of Jonathan dying in Volume 2 is 60%. Jonathan seems to have been forgotten in the fourth season. He is more likely to sacrifice himself for Nancy. The chance of Lucas dying in Volume 2 is 60%. Based on the trailer for Volume 2, it looks like Lucas got caught in a trance by Vecna as he was shown to be absolutely terrified staring at a shadow in front of him. For Steve Harrington, his chance of death is 80% and let me tell you why I think so. We've seen that Steve got attacked by the demo bats and has been bitten. We don't know if he'll be affected by the bites and even if he returns to Hawkins, would he be okay? According to the Duffer brothers, Steve was also going to die earlier in Season 1, but they cancelled that as fans grew attached to him, which means the character's death might have been pushed later. His death would affect our protagonists the most sadly. The chance of Vecna dying in Volume 2 is 88%. After Eleven returning her powers, I believe will eventually destroy the terrifying villain. She'll find a way to kill him along with the help of others. The chance of Eddie dying in Volume 2 is 92%. Stranger Things has a trend of introducing very likable characters only for them to be killed in the same season. We've seen that in Season 1 with Barbara, Bob in Season 2, and Alexei in Season Season 3. Would Eddie be the next one? I hope not honestly. The chance of Brenner dying in Volume 2 is 97%. Dr. Brenner was initially believed to have been killed by the Demogorgon in Stranger Things Season 1 but he is back in action in Season 4. I do think after assisting Eleven to return her powers, his role is done in this series. That's it for this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch these videos picked by me. See you soon.